Let me tell you something that's going to blow your mind. Everybody knew about what was going on with PDD. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. You say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, f what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, that's a nice gesture. That's Let me get out of no, dude, you take me to that <laughs> what a guy oh, says to a girl. <laughs> I asked 50 about that, and he said you did the same thing to him, you asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy! <laughs> what? Yo, what? I mean... Almost every music star in Hollywood knew what was going on with PDD, and nobody said a word. And why do we know that everybody knew about this? Because Eminem literally sang about it. Got so many essays, essays, essays. Wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a beat, did he? Yep. Little goopy bitch, get off me, go fuck puffy. Yeah. The fucking bomb with the puffy arm. I'm blowing up the kid Cuddy's car. Next kitty you ask me is getting his ass beat. Worse than did he did. But sounds like something that Puff would do at a party with Aaron Hall, cause I just love to fuck with you. The day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out, they got pot kill, eh? RP, rest in peace, Biggie and Pac, both of y'all should be living, yep, but I ain't trying to beef with him, cause he might put a hit on me like DVD, get him. Like facial tissue, who's quack, should I clean next, plus, till he's in belief, saying cuss, guilty, will he step up, like she never turned himself in. I'm giving night, Mr. Billy Eilish, I'm Diddy's side, bitch. Oh. I'm still east side, bitch. Oh, and I'm just playing, Diddy. You know I love you. 50 Cent has made many, many comments regarding PDD. And you're telling me that they knew, but all of a sudden, all the other Hollywood music stars, they didn't know about what was going on there. Let me tell you something that you probably already know. Absolutely, every big name in the music industry in America, knew about what was going on with PDD. It was so freaking amazing. And that girl, um, Val, is it Val? She has her ish together, like really. It was super cool. And I don't think she thought she was gonna flake on us, did she? Cause that night she was like, thought she was getting interviewed. But she had the best time. She thought it was like such a cool place. And I love that. That's like the closest circle in Hollywood, like movie, stars and music stars, they all know each other. Uh, probably not public information yet, but who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. And I can get on that list, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, without a doubt, you are invited. That is so generous of you. Cheers to that. Chi Chi, Chi Chi, what up, Chi Chi? Yeah, Chi Chi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't tell y'all who else is gonna be with me. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Yeah. On the Boricua mommies, come on out. Y'all see what it is. It's, that's like a small town where everybody knows what's going on with everybody. Where somebody sneezes and the whole town catches a cold. Every show you knock that back. That's breakfast and champions, right? What there. is this dude? <laughs> What's in this one? Well, it's all greens, multivitamins, all your nutrition that your body ever needs. Oh, God. It you smells know? like liquid poop. Yeah, but you, he's not going to lie. This is his first time having it, man. It's like dinosaur pee. <laughs> I don't believe that nobody knew, and it's a shock to everyone what was going on. Different, huh? You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah. Did you see how Jay Z lost millions of followers? Beyonce lost millions of followers. All those songs that they made in the past, alluding to P Diddy, and now all of a sudden nobody knows nothing. Everybody went to his parties, but
But all of, all of a sudden, nobody knows what was going on there. Oh, I left, you know, half an hour before everything started. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you you are an angel that left the party right about when all the shit, the bad shit was starting to go down. Now, look, I'm not saying that some people might have not be involved in that and some people wouldn't even want to be there. So they would just leave. And look, is that possible? Maybe. But we all know how Hollywood works. We all know how the music industry works. I'm sorry, and I'm just gonna be honest with you. Sometimes in the music industry and in Hollywood, if you don't suck a lot of dicks, you won't get nowhere. And that's just how it is. Why is it a common thing that just people in casual conversations might say, oh, if you don't sleep with the big names, you won't get nowhere. That's just how it is. Why is that something that people say? It, jokes or dark jokes, however you want to see it, they have some form of truths in them. And I find it so funny that while all these people have been pandering for years to the small folk like you and me about feminism, about how we should treat people fairly, about equality, and all of that nonsense while they were at Diddy's parties being anything but equal, abusing people, abusing their power, taking advantage of people, women, equally women and men. I would say, because these people are deviants in their souls. But like, all of them knew what was going on with PDD from the first to the last. And apart from those people that have been calling out this nonsense that has been going on in Hollywood, apart from them, all of the rest that just kept quiet, Beyonce, JC, they say that Ashton Kutcher went to a lot of DDs. This is going to be the same thing as the Epstein list. And now very big names are going to start to come out. And I think everyone is going to be shocked that their favorite music star, movie star, it's involved in this. And to some of us who had a rise open, or we might say we didn't believe all the bullshit that was coming from there, from Hollywood, specifically from California. We all knew that, everybody knew this was going on. I mean, come on, this is nothing new. This is Hollywood we're talking about. It's Hollywood, baby. A thousand bottles of baby oil in his house. He used to make parties with 60 feet of however bloody massive beds in the garden. I mean, come on, man. The, the man was basically broadcasting and telling everybody what he was doing. You're telling me that all these people didn't know? That's fucking rubbish. That's nonsense. You know it, I know it, the judge knows it, the, prosec the prosecution knows it, everybody knows it. I don't have a lot of faith that this will happen, but I hope everybody who was involved in that will go down. But I think this is gonna be a case like the Epstein list, where, you know, we're gonna know about some names, we're gonna know about some people, nothing's gonna happen to them. In the end, money buys almost everything in this world, except people actually being attracted to you for who you are. But money almost buys everything in this world. And I'm pretty sure that Diddy's the only one that's gonna go down. I hope not. I hope they all pay. I'm very doubtful they will. I don't think they will at all. I think most of the people who was involved in this are gonna come out of this unscathed. They're just gonna continue their life like nothing ever happened. That's Hollywood for you. It's Hollywood, baby. I hope you enjoyed the video and like always, see you on the next one.